Hi everyone, welcome back to the Organized Notebook. Since our last update video, there has been so many new and notable features on Notion. If you missed last month's update video, be sure to check that out as well, link in the description. You can now set database templates to create recurring pages on a set schedule. This is useful if you need to add recurring tasks, notes, or updates. For example, if you used to create a new meeting page every week, you can now simply automate it. Click the arrow below new to see all of your database templates. All you have to do is click the three dots and you'll see an option for repeat. Now just set a frequency. This is a simple but useful change if you want to change up the look of your databases. In a table view database, click the three dots and go to layout. Toggle show vertical lines on or off. Notion AI is still in private alpha, but make sure to sign up for the waiting list. This is basically a writing assistant that will help you write outlines, summaries, poems, and even more based on a topic. We see huge potential in this and think that it could help save time since you no longer have to start with a blank page. Notion AI can provide a base for you to edit, adjust, and find new ideas. Notion released some new templates that you can access directly from your workspace. These are simple pre-made templates that will help you to use Notion immediately without having to understand all of the small building blocks. This includes three project management templates, a meeting template, and a docs template. There are also some improvements to the template gallery. When you access Notion on your phone, you'll be able to jump back into your recent pages that you access from desktop. This way you can go from desktop to mobile without having to look through your workspace from the beginning. Icons used to be predetermined on the properties and views of a database. Now you can change it easily and add your own. For properties, click on a property and you'll see the icon slot. For a database view, click the view and rename. For those who are GitHub, Jira, GitLab, or Asana users, you can add additional properties on top of the synced database. The people property can also be synced by email address on Jira and GitHub. If someone has both Notion and Jira or GitHub accounts, they will connect together. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoy learning about all these new features. Which one are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe us for more productivity and organization related videos. See you in the next one.